Hello everybody, this is Plenty Gamer back with Black Sad under the skin. This is the 7th episode and I am stuck with one clue. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Um, so to recap, we've actually, actually come to Bobby Yale's apartment and we found out that uh, Bobby Yale and uh, Mary from the diner have a thing going. I'm not sure how intimate they are uh, with each other but uh, she claimed earlier that she doesn't know him well but it seems that that was a lie. And now there's one more clue that we have to deduce and I'm not sure what it could be. Now hopefully this uh, today's fresh mind will help me solve this. Oh, wrong key. Let's deduce. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing pretty good work. Today was pretty okay. Placement of player. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. I don't know if this thing, this thing has to do with anything. At least not right now. At least there's a smudged racial slur painted on Yale's locker. Someone threw a paint can in the trash. We do. I mean, who do the footprints at the gym belong to? That we don't know yet. When Dunn died, his knuckles were swollen. Did he have a fight with the person? Was he defending himself while he was strangled? Weekly took very explicit photographs. I'm not sure, man. Sure. See, that's that's the thing. Nothing actually seems like the link. There's, no, there's nothing to do with the racial slur. There's Mary's being Yale's uh, at Yale's place recently. So that doesn't go with anything else. I know it's punched someone, but I feel it's for defense. I mean, like probably when he was being strangled. Okay, so they showed uh, Bobby Yale. Um, strangle him from behind. We don't know if it was Bobby Yale, right? And I don't know how this is, how the game mechanic is that it's going to be him. I don't know. But it makes sense to think that what we saw, you know, he strangling um, Jordan from behind with a, uh, with a chest expander. He could have done it from front, or I don't know. They must have had a fist fight and he just took the expander and strangled him. I'm not sure if that the, that's the game mechanic. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Um, I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Wait, what? Alright. Done punch the paint. But what? Punch the paint can! Wasn't what? Too calm and composed? Okay, I'm going to be honest, that was luck, that was sheer luck. Okay, nothing else. Seriously. Okay, they did show a dent on it, but they didn't, it was just, okay. Now I'm gonna go from behind and see. I mean, last in the last episode there was an option to get out from behind. So let's see what happens. There's people like on Mary, you just never know. I didn't want to put Mary at risk. Why not take a little something instead? Oh, to avoid old lady, okay.
Okay, that was crazy. I mean, that was sheer luck. But I don't know. Was I wrong in thinking that he was a punched up person? And in the clues or in the, I don't remember whether they actually specified the bent or dented uh, paint can. I'm not sure. Maybe sometimes you just give it a shot. You've come to see Mary. I've never trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a... Surprise. Lip sync's pretty bad. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. How did you open the door to his apartment? Why did you hide this information? Uh, how did you open the I don't know. How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. Everything Seriously? is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Black said. Don't worry. I'm here to figure it all out. What's your relationship with Bobby L? Do you realize you might be protecting a murderer? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm curious about the relationship. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, I think it's time to set things straight. Were you cheating on Dunn with Yale, or was it other way around? You and Bobby Yale conspired against Dunn. No, we don't have enough. I knew you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No! How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture of Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? I don't know, segregated health care, I guess. Segregated health care, with far worse conditions for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. That damn nonsense. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great grandparents are. I'm black too. And I don't hide it. But at least you're a man. In any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Joe and I first started I've taken care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. You should have sent, uh, said something. That doesn't make sense to the apologies. You should have told me this soon. I've been hiding it all my life. I'm sorry. I'm going to read her. Or read whatever is... can be read. Mary smells like Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven, so I can't identify any of the fragrances. Feminity starts at home. No comment on that, my friend.
TV and radio all in one. Where was his mad time status? Hmm. Okay, smell again. Out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. That's it. I don't get these, man. I mean, do they even help the investigation? Are you sure you don't know the answer? I don't see any done in the ring. No. I told her about you and Joe Dunn. I had no choice. And what did she say? I don't think she took it too well. But she might come to understand. Maybe. But I'm not so sure you'll be able to keep my other secrets safe. Your secret is safe with me. I'd like to believe you. Okay, man. Come on, she's an employee. She's her daughter. His daughter. So I thought maybe that would be the right thing to do. This one is no, not, not a good thing to speak out about. But Sherry, are you sure this one is good? Are you sure you don't, want, don't know Yale's whereabouts? Are you sure you don't know where your nephew is? I've looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. Don't worry. I'll find him. Thank you. That cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Okay, let's go. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? Mmm, orange juice. OJ is fine, thanks. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. Where did I got, get that from? I mean, I thought it was from the table. Sorry, I was going to help you with that. What? Wait, what? He finished the whole thing? You should open a bakery and sell these pies. <laughs> Thanks. Joey used to say the same thing. Can you still read anything? Holy shit! There's a bug! There's a bug, a spoon is floating. Okay. Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. There's almost yeah, no pie. Left. Already found it, so the scent has also disappeared. Maybe somebody else. Okay, 
interesting. And now Mary smells like a huge dog. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I no. Your nephew is here. I can smell it. What? No. I already told you I don't know who he is. Look, I understand why you're protecting me, but it's in his best interest to end this hide and seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. She wouldn't cover him if he killed him. Then he scanned her. Yes. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So, that's where you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Man, this is exciting. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Please go. Man, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Will you bore off? You don't have to do this, Mary. Please calm down. I just want to help. I can take the knife away. I just want to help. Mary, I came here to help. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, no. oh my god. Dude, I dodged. Okay. Come on. What? What? Okay. Come on. Okay, take the tray and hit him. Come on. Think about Mary. Think about Mary, Bobby. Don't even mention her name. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm on your side. Shit. Okay, now I get it, I get it. Get it. You get up, man. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. One, stay calm. Two, run chest compression per second. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. Five, Mississippi. Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Bobby. Oh, 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 I see Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby. Thank you. Lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. And I had saved a life.
That actually went pretty well, guys. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. I know that he's going to the hospital, everyone knows where he is. I mean, not sure who would bring him home because O'Leary needs him for a fight. Um, the walrus guy needs him for Cassidy guy. He needs him for a fight. I mean, he's more important alive than dead, right? Promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. What the hell? A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? Hmm. That means we can, uh, yeah. yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Can we test that guy? Who is that? Can we trust him? I know how to pick my man, Jelly. You? I'm not so sure. You promised me you wouldn't intervene. You don't make me glad. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. Anyway, what's done, is done. Dude, you said don't take me, take laws into my own hands. I didn't kill him. I just went to meet Mary, right? I didn't get that. Third time is always a charm. When, when exactly did you realize that a kid done? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. And you tried to kill me when I saw the picture on you. I'm not sure yet. To be honest, I'm not so sure you have killed him. How about the motive? Any ideas? I recall his fight off. Yale stand disappeared. Yale was a secret crime. No, Dunn wanted to call his... yeah. I knew mean, Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission, so I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell? Boy, she was hard to pry from the Yale side. Yeah, you know, she smacked into a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, we get some rest. God knows you need it. I will. Yeah. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film is not For your sake. I hope you're wrong. Hmm. You're in charge now, officer. Oh, okay. I'll send you relief in six hours, understood? Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. 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 Who are? Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. 
better than most toy guns. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bruh, I always land on my feet. Yeah. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, that it's natural and well-founded. Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many. This will be ready to fight in two weeks. Will this, will this have long term effects on his health? What's his current condition? What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack. The doctor told me to sleep. I really get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. He's clenching his fist. A sign containing anger. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying. But it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I think he's lying. But that's not the case. Pinched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with me. For now. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right. I'll just cut to the chase. Where did you kill them? Who killed them? Uh... Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe, hang himself. Dunn wanted to call off of it. Dunn was too short to hang himself. The murder weapon was... It was... Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. I'll first I know the state that his the murder was his. The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you need? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. Alright. Let's just say that I. I don't The murderer killed them with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame me. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a I... I don't know. Not Frank Cassidy, Desmond Lillard, Jay Kostrumbo. Ah, uh, Sonia Dunn. Who, oh, man? Could it be Jake? But he doesn't seem like it. Maybe it was. 
What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. <laughs> no, never mind. This one you're done, but... No, not Cassidy, because he needs the fight to happen, right? What about Sonya Dunn? Sonya? I doubt it. She's odd. She's his dog. I'm seeing worse. Believe me. Desmond, Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to Jake was too Yeah. Exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty handed. Poor Cassidy. Black Sabbath. I think I owe you an uh, You know. My father disappeared when I was six, right after winning the fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way, put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. Thank you, it's about time. I'm just doing my job. Thank you for the information. You gotta be nice to us. Thank you for... Is that eye movement normal? A hand say a lot about what's going on inside a person. Is that eye movement normal? Uh -huh. cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. Ah, damn. Okay, got some collectibles. Something. Oh, sorry, here's something. Oh, his heartbeat. He seems restless. He 
Should I tell someone? See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? I know I sure wouldn't sleep. I have nightmares myself, but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? It's that, that witch I have to work with. Oh, good thing she's got trauma surgery at 1230, but I wish it went a little sooner. Anyway, thank you for letting me know and, and, and for bringing him in. You don't know how excited I am to be involved in a criminal case. <laughs> it might not be important, but I need to take a look at his medical report. Reports. Okay, this was an interesting episode. I hope you guys found it interesting too. I mean, the fight sequence and a little bit of you know using his senses and finding out some clues. Initially, everything seemed like normal, but then when they used this the sense of smell to find out that uh, Bobby Hale was right there, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Thank you so much for coming over and watching this episode. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't yet because there's a lot, lot more videos coming up. I actually stream on Mixer on Fridays, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, 9 o'clock IST, Indian Standard Time. Uh, please do come and watch. I will be uh, posting uh, on Twitter, Facebook and uh, what else? Yeah, Twitter and Facebook whenever I go live. If you want to follow me uh, on Twitter, there's a link in the description below. Uh, even the Facebook link, link is down below. So please do come over on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and watch me play some games on live. <laughs> okay then guys, take care. Have a great day. Spunky Gamer, signing off. Take care.